Where'd your shadow go? There it is. Being a dad of three boys, I don't always get a chance to hang out with one at a time. So this Wednesday, my little dude and I grabbed something good to drink. We hit the town to do some exploring and take some pictures. As I made a left down this ordinary street, I saw three buildings, a parking garage, a workshop, and a brick building. I thought each would serve as a really good canvas to take some portraits. As we explored the brick building, I started thinking about some photos that I could take. With the scene feeling kind of busy, it hit me. I could use negative space to simplify the scene and draw the eye to my subject. You can think of negative space like breathing room. It gives the eye a place to rest, especially in a place like this where there's lots of distracting objects. One of the best examples of negative space is finding a very simple, uniform background to lead the eye to the subject. In this portrait, I created negative space by using this simple white garage door as a backdrop. By placing Zeeland in the lower third, it created a lot of breathing room and simplified the scene. I'm not gonna lie, it's not always easy to find simplicity in a really busy scene. One trick that you can use in the real world is to find geometric shapes or repeating textures. And what that'll do is it'll help simplify the backdrop and help lead your eye to the point of interest. By zooming in and focusing only on his feet, I was able to remove all the distractions and create some negative space. Every once in a while, the stars align and you're presented with an amazing scene. In this case, a parking garage with absolutely no cars. By far, this was my favorite photo from our little outing. The repeating geometric shapes in the ceiling, lots of empty space around Zeeland, and then that simplistic single arrow. Maybe what I love most about this photo is how three-year-olds always want to go in a different direction than what you tell them. What I love so much about photography is being able to preserve the moments of fatherhood and to relive that magical morning. Using negative space in the real world is a great way to bring those memories to life, to remember an expression, how small they once were, and their character. Wherever you are in the world, enjoy the journey of photography. Happy clicking. What do you think? Yes.